dia. Seattle stand out. All right, boys, we are back with the top 100 again. Two more parts, 40 through 31, 30 through 21 in this episode. We're going 40 to 21 in this one. And, yeah, we're going to jump right into this. We have a lot to say. Bradley Chubb at number 40. Last year was unranked, so he climbs all the way up from unranked to 40. He was 82 a couple years ago. Now he's back in the top 100. Um, he, was all, he was healthy this year, which was perfect. Seven and a half sacks, 45 pressures, and he's the, the best player in this Broncos defense in my opinion, him or Isaiah Simmons or Justin Simmons or whoever else is on that Broncos defense, Von Miller's falling off a little bit. Bradley Chubb is that guy down there in Denver, and he is he's a beast. 45 pressures, and he's going to keep getting sacks. At least he doesn't get injured again. He'll be a d- elite outside linebacker, defensive end, whatever he really plays. Kyler Murray climbs 51 spots from number 90 to number 51. I love Kyler Murray, even though he's a Cardinals. I think he's a cool player to watch. His Baseball, football duo is kind of cool. He's a he's explosive player, fun to watch. And he had quite a few yards, actually, almost 4,000, 26 to 12 TD interception ratio, and had a lot of rushing yards as well, probably near 1,000 rushing yards. Kyler Murray is that guy. He's good like that. Kyler Murray will get hit. I don't think he's going to lead the Cardinals to the playoffs this year, but he will uh, get him close. And they went 8-8 eight eight last year. I'm going to say probably go 9-8 and eight this year and just miss out again, but he deserves this spot, 39 He's an elite quarterback in the NFL at this point, t- top 10 for sure. Number 38, Marlon Humphrey. This is pretty overrated if you put him ahead of Stephon Gilmore, J.C. Jackson, Jair Alexander. I do not agree at all whatsoever. Marlon Humphrey's great and all, but ugh, over those three guys I just named, no way Marlon Humphrey's better. But sure, he had two and a half sacks, I guess. He had eight forced fumbles. Oh, my. That's the, he had a lot of forced fumbles, which is nice. He didn't have any interceptions. He's a pro bowler. That's fine. But he's not better than Jerry Alexander. I'm sorry. He's not better than Stephon Gilmore. He's still a great player. No disrespect to Marlon Humphrey. Best player in this Ravens defense. And, uh, yeah, 38. That's fine. But not better than those guys I'm naming. I don't mind where he's at. But if those guys were ahead of him, I'd be fine with it. But they're not. So I do not like that. No. 37, Darius Leonard. Yep, Leonard is huge. Jumps up 13 spots. From 50 to 37, he's a beast linebacker. He gets a lot of sacks for a linebacker. What, 13 slots. Uh, where's his sack numbers? 132 sacks, three sacks, seven passes, and three forced fumbles. He does everything, and he's going to get a, a huge market. Uh, he, signed a, he, signed a, he signed a huge contract with the Colts, guys. He uh, helped the market for linebackers. That's how Leonard Williams, all those other guys, got their contracts. Darius Hunter is that guy. He's so good for this Colts team, man. 37 seems fair, maybe a little higher even, but that's okay. David Bakhtiari, offensive tackle for the Packers at number 36, jumps up 26 spots. Yeah, he had a breakthrough season at the at the line. He's been very nice. He's a good blocker. Uh, I don't know much about the stats, but he, he does his job there. He protects Aaron Rodgers. And yeah, 36 for Bakhtiari. Darren Waller's not better than George Kittle. Darren Waller's not better than George Kittle. He's not. I love Darren Waller. Maybe my favorite play, one of my, my favorite tight end in the league. I love his story. I love everything about him. I love what he does. He's like a receiver. I got my fence team three straight years. I love Darren Waller. But you cannot tell me that Darren Waller is a better player than George Kittle. Yeah, that's what I thought. 35 is great, and I love the spot. 35 for sure. But Kittle should not be 50. He's not better than George Kittle. I love Darren Waller. He's the third best tight end in the league behind Kittle and Kelsey. But that's all I'm going to say. He had, a, he had a lot of receptions, a lot of targets, a ton of yards, a ton of TDs, nine TDs. Yeah, that's fine. I know Kittle didn't play very much last year, but that does not matter. Darren Waller is not better than George Kittle. But I love Darren Waller. I love him at 35. Chris Jones at 34. Jones up 18 spots. Yeah, that's fine. Jones is, was a beast. He got, he got the bag this year for the Chiefs, and uh, he's doing his thing out there in Kansas City. He's balling, wins win Super Bowls. Quentin Nelson, probably the best guard in the league. He drops four spots for some reason, but he's still that guy. Once again, I don't know much about guards, but Nelson is a huge third straight All-Pro season, becoming the first offensive lineman to begin his career in that fashion. Yeah, three straight seasons, three straight. He doesn't miss snaps. He literally does not miss snaps. And he's going to be injured this year, but he's luckily he's going to be healthy. Him and once maybe be a duo. Joey Bosa, underrated opinion, is the best Bosa brother. Fight me. Bosa's better than Nick, but all right. Joey's here. He goes up two spots. Uh, I don't, he hit top 100 finish. I don't know how many. I don't know his stats. Not really saying them here, but he's he's that guy. He's that good. And then Jamal Adams, our boy of the Seahawks, he drops four spots. 
but that doesn't really matter. He just got his bag. He just got his bag. Ten and a half sacks or nine and a half sacks, tying the single season record, you know, breaking the single season record for a DB. And uh, he's now the highest paid safety ever. Uh, so he's he's doing good. He's an All-Pro. He had what zero interceptions, which everyone clowned him for. That's fine. But he had a lot of tackles. He hits hard. He does his thing. That's Jamal Adams, baby. Aaron Jones at 30, a great receiving running back and a, also a good running running back. He was a little injured last year, made the Pro Bowl, though, his first of his career. 1,000 rushing yards and, oh, yeah, so 500 passing yards and 1,000 rushing yards. He's an all-purpose player. He gets those yards. He does gets a lot of touches with the Rodgers. The Rodgers likes him at the backfield a lot. He gets touchdowns. Uh, I'm not sure how many touchdowns he had, but he had five and a half rushing yards per attempt, which is most in the league. He's like a little worse CMC, but CMC was injured, so they put him ahead, which is fine. And you got a huge bag. And that, that's, that's fair. He's a great player, Aaron Jones. Julio Jones is so overrated. Guys, he is not – he's washed. I'm sorry. If you still think Julio Jones is the best receiver in the league, you got to go. You got to go. That a boy, Jake. Oh, darn it. You got to go, guys. I'm sorry. Julio Jones is not that guy anymore. He's still a good receiver. He's still top 50, but he's not better. Calvin Ridley is better. Adam Thielen is better. Justin Jefferson – no, not Justin Jefferson. Keenan Allen is better. Those three guys are all better than Julio Jones. Just because he's Julio Jones does not make him going to be 29. Just like that. He had 51 catches last year. He barely played at all. He missed so many games. He's 32 years old. He lost a step. He's slow. And maybe I'm hating on Julio Jones, but he's not the 29th best player in football. Devin White, another uh, Buccaneers defensive player. They have so many of these guys. Devin White was huge for that uh, Super Bowl run with them. Uh, he's very fast. He gets a lot of tackles. Gets some interceptions. Forces some fumbles. I like Devin White. He's a cool player to watch, but seems pretty high for a third-year player. I guess because he won the Super Bowl, but Levante David's better than Devin White. I don't know what this this one's kind of making me triggered a little bit. Like this this section, DeForest Buckner, 27. That's fine. He was super good. He goes up to 29 spots. He had nine and a half sacks, 26 QB hits, 10 tackles for loss, two forced fumbles, 58 tackles. He is actually a beast. Oh my, DeForest Buckner, maybe the best defensive tackle in the league. Wow, 90. Yeah, the Colts were insane. He is huge. DeForest Buckner, man. That's a huge pickup. Former 49er, that's a huge pickup for the Colts, guys. I love that. He is a beast. Wow. Nick Chubb goes up 10 spots from 36 to 26. I like it. Chubb is a great running back. Another 1,000-yard rushing season for the Cleveland. Uh, he only played 12 games, which is even more impressive. He had 20, 12 touchdowns, and he has to split time with Kareem Hunt. So he's still splitting time and still doing all this, which is insane. And they made the playoffs. So Chubb is that guy over there in Cleveland. Bobby Wagner at 25, jumps up 12 spots, or goes down 12 spots from 13 to 25, but that's fine. He lost a little bit of a step this year, but he's still consistently great. 138 tackles, uh, 7 for loss, 3 sacks, 11 QB hits. He got a pick. Wagner's that guy. We know about Bobby. He, he's that good uh, for the Seattle Seahawks. That is our boy. We all love Bobby. Lamar Jackson at 24. He goes from 1 to 24 just like that. Wow. He's no, no. He's still top 10. Lamar Jackson is still top 10. He had a down year, sure. He had slightly a down year. But he's, he went from MVP to 24. 1,000 rushing yards. 20, I mean, I guess. But he's better than this, guys. Lamar Jackson, under he went from he went from overrated to underrated just because of one bad, a couple bad games. He turned it around last year, guys. He turned it around. Khalil Mack at 23, yeah, he went from 19 to 23. He's getting a little bit older, but he's still forcing fumbles with nine sacks, 11 for losses, an interception, three fumbles. Yeah, he's still 23. He's still the best linebacker in the league, maybe. I love Khalil Mack. And then my boy DK Metcalf, that's the seventh Seahawk on the list. We are dominating the top 100 this year. That is what we do out here in Seattle. DK with the strength, big body DK. We love to see DK out here. He's 6'4", 229, 1,300 yards, 10 touchdowns. But uh, he chased down Buda Baker. Yeah, yeah, we don't really. That's fine. People overhype that play a lot. But I love DK Metcalf, guys. He's a top three receiver in the league. Top three. He should be higher than this, guys. He should be way higher. He should be like. He should be number twelve, not twenty-two. But it's okay. And then number twenty-one, Fred Warner. Uh, yeah, I, people overrate Fred Warner a little bit, but he had a nice year. I saw Nick Wright say he's top ten. No way. But I like twenty-one. That's cool. Coming off his first All-Pro season, he's only 24. He's got a lot of time left in the league. He's going to get way, way better. Jumps 49 spots, 125 tackles, led the league. Interception, two interceptions, and six pass deflections. Yeah, that's great. He got a, he got a bag, and uh, yeah, that's it for me, guys. I'll come back with a top. I'll come back with a 20 through 10 separate video, and then a 10 through one video, and that'll be it for the rankings. Peace.